Hello, Internet friends. My name is Bay. Welcome back to more Forehead Forward Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree, But I'm Bad. The anniversary playthrough of the first game that started it all. And now we're 500 installments later or something ridiculous with all the Souls games, all of Bloodborne, the, both the, the new uh, the God of Wars, both of the new Jedi games. We are going to work through... We are in the jail right now. <clears throat> the Belarat jail. And I've got to warm up my voice because I have not been talking for the past few hours. I was up super... Oh, what the hell is happening here, brothers? Don't do it. Don't do it. Why? 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 First off, beautiful. I mean, kind of, yeah. This is quite the jail. What spell are we on? Okay. There's so many. Hello. That's the wrong button. <clears throat> I was going to read the message, and then I just fat fingered two buttons at the same time. Be wary of left. Yeah, he would have pushed me off for sure. Dude, there are a hundred thousand million bloodstains. Don't do it. Don't you? Don't you do it? Is that pot going to get up? A frozen maggot. You don't say. Frozen maggots that somehow continue to wriggle. Used in crafting. Mainly found in jails. The maggots develop in... The maggots develop in great jar innards and are an invaluable source of sustenance for the prisoners. You know that game where you're like, what fantasy video game do you want to be teleported into? Basically, what game do you want to be isekai into? What game do you want to live in? Not this one. Not many of them, to be honest. Almost any video game setting, you're like, I could live there. No, probably not. No. Probably not. Praise the gorgeous view. It does have some fog. I guess it's cold down here. Oh, it's a one way. Yep, I got it. Yep. All right, you attack faster than me. Of course you do. Or would you not attack faster than me? Yep. It happens. What are we rocking right now? Oh, we don't need this. Give me back my dew. I have some mana regen while I'm walking around. Oh, I didn't put my heal on so I could have my trickle heal. Oh! oh. I wish I have the blasphemous blade on while I'm mobbing. Oh, we're capped on those. Maybe I should start using them. I don't know what kind of drops we're looking for from things. I could always put on the Taker's cameo as well to give you more health regen when you're walking around, but that's okay. Did I listen to the weekly radio broadcast in Destiny 2? Uh, I have not. Weekly, like... <clears throat> oh, maybe I did? Is it... Like the one after the episodic stuff? One where it's just failsafe talking to you? No decoy ahead. Mm. Yeah, that was pretty good. Oh! Okay. Try gesturing. <laughs> I 
I'm not sure a gesture is going to do anything to that door there, son. Many frozen... Dude, there's so many just bloodstains by the corners of cliffs. I'm just waiting for one of these great jars to stand up and be like, hug me. Uh, yeah, well, you know, there's one behind me now. Hello. Hmm. This is quite... Ah, head. I mean, not really. It's a, it's a jar. So it's a one way in once you get this deep. So, okay. Lots of, I, I'm assuming the frozen maggots are going to probably be used in a frost giant pot or a, a giant frost pot, I would assume. All right, more blood stains. What we got going on here? Always look up, gamer. Just a bunch of random dudes. I release you. How are we dying here, friends? What's going on? Did you walk off the edge? Well, he jumped. And then, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to become one of these bloodstains, I'm sure, but... At the same time, people are just jumping off stuff to... Okay, we're going to definitely have some frost damage in here. This big jar. What the hell? How... Dude. That's like the, the Colosseum jar in size. Got some lore. Oh, please, not the jar. Anything but that. I promise. I won't ever do it again. I swear. A living saint I'll surely be. Please, you must forgive me. Forgive me, please. So... They would jail people here and then just put them in the jars to become great jar innards where they would just become an undulating non-Newtonian mass of jar goo, I guess. Really? Holy crap, I have to... Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right. There is a jumping slash falling puzzle. A little bit of lag there too. That's nasty. That's a yikes. Okay, well. Now, if there were a lot of blood stains in this room, that would make sense. Since doing the jumping falling down here is going to be a little bit left dog. Ah, you can tell. Just like those animation cells back in the day with old Looney Tunes cartoons. If there is something that looks a little bit differently colored. Ugh. Oh, shh. The insides of a jar. Oh, my. Oh, my. No, thank you. So is that before it becomes one blob? Behold fruit. <laughs> is that before all the innards become one coalesced mass, which becomes the jar? Yuck. Ah, bigger shadow realm rune. I did it. Think carefully. <laughs> 
All right, well, I mean, we're going down. Now, there's nothing over there to actually do anything crazy with jumping, but Ooh, for the most part, these should be walk offable. This is probably a jump. This is probably a walk off. <laughs> yes, yes, clear. Oh boy, glass shards, my favorite. This is a walk off. It's also a walk off. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. <laughs> well done. This is also a walk off. Look at the baby jars. The shallow walk off. Look at him. Oh, that jar alive. <laughs> I have to jump on its head though, right? I think I'll take fall damage if I don't. Nah, that's not fall damage. I'm dropping its head though. Why are you buds so mad? Oh, he jumped over my fire. Oh, my ankles. Ugh, they do be exploding. Living jar shards, raw dumpling meat. Yep. That's what you get reduced to when you become uh, living jar innards. You just become dumpling. That's just what you are. No longer are you man or beast. You are dumpling. You're that. It's very Bloodborne of you, Elden Ring. How very Bloodborne of you indeed. Oh! That's nasty. That's cool, though. Ill-omened creature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know it. Goomba it? I did. I did. We did Goomba. Well, Elden Ring Goomba, which is to held R2 as you drop. You do a plunging attack. Hello. Can I help you? I release you. Damn, though. It looks like we're going like all the way down there. So you know I'm going to die like 90% of the way and have to go all the way back through, right? I hope you're ready for that. That's another one way. Oh, no, maybe it's not. Okay, you can still jump back up, I guess. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. That's almost scandalous looking. Oh, and the pot shattered. That's cool. Oh! Don't push me off. I actually have exploration mana, so I can just use spells. Oh, no. That's a lot of jars, man. What the heck? Like, we found jars in the lands between, like in Jarberg and whatnot, and so, oh, shit. Like, there were jars, but there weren't. This is a lot of jars. Like a lot, a lot, a lot of jars. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I know. That's... That's Largeman. Uh-huh. Sure. Yeah, it makes sense. Yep, that makes sense. Why is it always trap? <laughs> Why is it always trap? Uh-huh. Target lock. Oh. Indeed. First off, you don't have the right, and then praise the message.
crack. Whoa! He's pushing me! Oh, that one's even bigger! Oh, the hitbox was weird on that. It's like the Stukov arm from StarCraft. Innard meat! Oh, good. Not yet dumpling. We got innard meat. Throw at enemies to inflict damage. What the hell? Scraps of flesh for filling great jars. Rancorous spirits cling to the pinkish, pinkish red twitching meat. This is what becomes of the condemned who get sliced up and stuffed into jars to become saints instead. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if this is... I thought the jars... Lost Ash of War? I thought the jars in the Lands Between were like fallen heroes. Not condemned criminals. Whereas this in the Land of Shadow is clearly of the uh, criminal recycling nature. Once you are deemed unworthy by the ruling powers you get stuffed in here so it's like a twisted version which i guess is the entire narrative of everything in the land of shadow is a, a twisted narrative it, everything is a little bit fresh item ahead you don't say uh huh hello hello Good job, bud. <laughs> Many people in the morning before they have their morning cup of joe, just face planting, leaving their bed, just blah. We have to find a way to jump up. Oh, cookbook 11? How? I'm going so out of order with these cookbooks. I got like one, five, two, eleven. <laughs> this is the hefty freezing pot. Yep, yep. That makes sense. Hi. Good job. The hefty freezing pot. Seek up, indeed. Looks like there's another up over here, too. Maybe not. Ooh, yummy. Dumplings. Might be the way out, maybe. Hmm. Might be the way out. <clears throat> After we get the item. So what's the item in here? New talisman, maybe? Because not, not the crafting pattern. We just picked up. Oh, God. It's all right. All right. You got me. You got me. You got me. That was good. I couldn't couldn't see around the corner for the color change. You got me. You got me. You son of a bitch. You got me. You got me. Enemy ahead. You got me. <laughs> you want to put that back down the ramp a bit. Hey oh, another hefty cracked pot. Actually very valuable. Well done. Although if, if this place follows suit, we're going to be fighting something frosty. So you want fire damage? I don't think we're going to want frost damage specifically for what we're about to face. Oh, this goes back to here. Oh, never mind. Tier 6 smithing stone. Yeah, this is the... Yeah, okay. Making our way downtown. Not walking that fast because I'm trying to take it all in. First off, well done. Happy jars! 
You are not a happy jar. Don't you dare. Friend ahead. See? I guess the innards that become the dumpling of the blob, like they poke out. Hello. They're just being jars. You get to live. Now the question is, do you get to live? Or are you gonna, no, there's a bunch of blood stains around. What am I even kidding? Oh, that one is also, wow, there's three over there. At least two more. The one to my left where my sword is pointing and then this one. This one also might be a fake. Are you going to get up and get mad? Behold, warrior. Can't talk to him. Oh, never mind. He wasn't looking at me with his non face. Well, <clears throat> got to do it to you. Just like X. Now that is a MacGuffin because there is a drop right there. Is that a real drop? Or is that death? Oh, did they get mad when I fight the big one? Oh, well. Is that a fake out? Someone put a message down there, but that might just be because they wanted to trick people because that's part of the souls community as well. Yeah, I don't see any other place down there. That's a debate. So that one. Yeah, I have to say. Uh huh. Yeah, that's pretty clever. Ooh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he got grabbed by the physics. Be wary of left, huh? Like this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and that one. And that one. All right, well, see you guys in hell. Oh, that was actually impressive. They can jump over that. Those other animation is made for them to jump over the gap. <laughs> Multi-purpose attack and traversal mechanic. This is a big chunky boy. Oh no! <laughs> Did you just spit on me? Interrupted my attack animation, that's for sure. More innard meat. I wonder how much damage innard meat does if it's just to be thrown to do damage. Absolutely ridiculously impossible anime space. Oh, there's the boss. I guess that's the way of the boss. You have to do it. Okay. That's fair. Something incredible. Oh, something incredible. No, that's a lift ahead. A lift. Really? Is it actually a lift? I'm going to get so debated. There is an item down there. What the frick? Oh, oh. oh my god, okay. The boss is back there, but like... Does it just go up and then go down? Oh, I see. You don't move. Do you summon the lift? Try gesturing? Really? No. They wouldn't make this gesture actually a thing because it's... It's only a pre-order bonus. That would be really troll. Oh, you just... Okay, it brings it up. 
Gotcha. That's a nasty... That's a nasty jump, though. To, of course, go back for the boss, but now we are still exploring. There's a whole other section to this place. Yep, I see you. Shaking that ass. Yep. <clears throat> How long have I been in this jail? Like half an hour. Oh my gosh. Oh, we made it. Oh, hello. Hello, your roundness. You know, are you mad that I'm here? Okay, whatever. Oh God. Thought you were going to swing and then you just swung your whole body. So I was correct ish. This is going to be another big jar fragment there. Maybe the whole giant sword. You telling me the great jar helmet. So now we have the jar helmet and the great jar helmet. Yo, it is heavy as heck. A great jar, which fits comfortably over the head when Un upturned attire for the sh of the shamans who performed their worship at jails increases the power of thrown pots of all sizes really they offer their prayers to the innards of the great jars such that they might be reborn one day into sainthood this is the cycle of death and rebirth taken into the hands of mortal men but as we've learned a lot of these Prisoners down here were, I don't know, deemed unworthy. Convicts, if you will. So, okay. Check the drip, though. Real talk. Because we have both now. Because we have the jar helmet, which just doesn't do anything. It's just a tanky helmet. And then we have the great jar. So, comparison. Jar helmet. Which let me solo her brought to uh, very significant prominence within the community is wearing this and nothing else and then using the two swords. And then, yeah, I mean, yeah. Just take the bottom right corner and pull to 40% larger. Yep. That's quite... I mean, you just got to kind of accept a lot of the times there's lots of clipping in Souls games because it's not really a huge part of it. But that's that's some some pretty... Pretty hectic clipping you have here with your sword going through the entire jar head. But the fact that it buffs buffs all thrown pots is interesting. Buffs all thrown pots. I wonder by how much, because the big ones do a lot of damage. For the time investment you have, like a thousand plus damage for one chuck is pretty nasty so if it's like a 15 to 20 percent buff like a few hundred more damage so i guess you could drop down here but that seems ill-advised you just walk all the way back around but you may have to because this might not connect anywhere lift ahead oh another one Oh, is this the actual way you're supposed to go to get back to the boss? Or is this go down more? Seek down. Oh my. Yes, this is where we were. But that, what's about the item that was super down? Is the down, down section after the boss, maybe? This is a drop. I gotta watch out for the chains. They are physics objects. Oh, this is where the two little jars were dancing. Because see the item right. Oh, I can't see it from this angle. But there is an item that was down there, I thought. I see it from over here. Yeah, see? So either that's a debate or that's a whole other chunk of game that I don't know how to get down to. 
Unless it's after the boss, because we go down through here into the boss's room. Let's go see what the boss is. Hey, yeah, yeah. This makes no sense. Just how large. Yeah, there's a torch right there on the wall. Thinking it's like an entrance or an exit. Unless I missed a, a direction, maybe. Which is possible. What? How did someone get a soapstone there? What the? You clipped on the side of that. Mal just put a. No. You know that soapstone's gonna have a lot of appraisals, though. Because a lot of dinguses will jump to it. Okay, boss time. No summon outside the boss door. No summon outside the boss door. So... Now, are we thinking it's going to be a frost-oriented encounter? So, all you can do is just put magic on. Um, since this is... That's usually what frost is. Unless we want frost... Like, we want robustness, maybe? Maybe we want robustness? Or we could just put on some more damage, I suppose. We could just raise our faith by five just for more damage. But we're already at 70, so it really doesn't add all that much. Um, could go Shard of Alexander. We're fighting against Jar, maybe? I don't know if it's a Jar or not. Uh, let's see. Probably put this on just in case. It might not even be a frost-oriented encounter at all. It'll totally jubate you. So. You think it will be, and then it just isn't. You get in here, and it's just like some fire demon. <laughs> You're like, well, that makes no sense. But it might be. No mimic tier here yet, though, so that's curious. Holy shit, demi human sword master Onze! Hello. Oh gosh, that chunked the heck out of you, didn't it? What the hell? How? Where? How? From what? Demi Human Sword Master Onze. Okay. Demi Human Sword Master Onze. Get the name down before I. All right. Good grief. No, not a lot of health, but. A lot of damage. Definitely was doing magic damage. It looked like there was a magic damage sword. For sure. So I could put the magic damage... ...on. So these aren't going to do anything. If anything... Uh, I'll take a, a, a dried liver, potentially. This boy's going crazy in here. And again, mobs that just immediately attack you upon entering. Oh, dude. <laughs> he has so much damage. Actually, so incre- <laughs> I like how he eats my entire combo. Gets front stabbed. 
gets black flame super I, I overcharged my black flame fireball and then just looks at me in the whites of my eyes and basically limit breaks me oh my god that was super funny all right we're gonna <laughs> He was just like, Oh my, Shindeiru, Sayak, Did not, did not give a shit. And just completely wrecked me. Oh, it was my, that was my last uplifting aromatic. Am I got to go farm silver tear husks? That's funny. Oh my God. Absolutely just destroyed me. That was funny. Um, God damn. <laughs> All right. Well, well, we will put on this because in case I get caught by the stupid magic attack, because we got we can eat the liver and then use the spell Drake talisman to uh, not get his booty blasted. My God, get wrecked. Uh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> oh man. Is he gonna jump at me? He's not gonna jump at me at all. That's weird. There he goes. Oh crap, really? I keep jumping over, he's so small! Yeah, that attack, that's absolutely bonkers. Should have him here, though. <laughs> I mean... Respect. He's a summon? Oh, you get Demi-Human Swordsman Yosh as a summon. Okay. I didn't even collect my pride last time because I'm just not in a, in a... I don't really care too much about runes. Wowza. The question is now, is there further down or is that further down for later? Again, item down there. Huh. Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell. You summon spirit of Josh, the demi-human swordsman. Onze. Probably Ons. Onze. Something like that. A master swordsman who devoted himself to the star-lined sword. Is that a new sword that we can actually get? The star-lined sword? Realized that only ruin awaited at the end of the procession of stars and imprisoned himself in order to forestall it. However, Yosh, an apprentice who absorbed his technique, stubbornly refused to heed his master's words and spent his, uh, spent entire spent entire his life, so spent his entire life, little translation error there, at his side in defiance of his self-imposed seclusion. So this is his apprentice. Okay. <clears throat> his apprentice is the the summon itself. <laughs> I'm still like, where the hell is there anywhere else to go? Liar ahead. All the more pathetic sword ahead. Someone said it was a loser wall. Yep. A lot of bloodstains in here. Because good good reason to. Because that, <laughs> that guy. Low health, but high damage. Which is, a, a I'd say, a pretty balanced boss model. I did just kind of takers flame him when I was all buffed up. So is that, is that item over there just a complete, maybe it's a load error or something. I mean, again, there's a torch on that wall, but I didn't see a way to get to any of that structure. It was way too far away from the lift. Hmm. I'm not sure. 
Invisible platforms? I mean, if there was invisible platforms, I think you would see soapstones on them. Players would have put soapstones on them. I don't think there's been, there's only one, what, one instance of an invisible platform in Elden Ring, which was that, um, that tower in the frozen. Yeah, I literally just, I know where it is instantly. How do you zoom to the different map? Can you actually, yeah, because there is an invisible bridge right here, I thought, or no, something like that. It's in the consecrated snow fields. One of these towers you walk on an invisible bridge to. Yeah. <clears throat> but it could be. But that could be a just complete debate, and it could also be a load error. Because that's a lot of traversal to get back around to get anywhere here, so... Like, right there, there's clearly a cave. I don't know, did I ever exit that cave or come out of that cave side? You know what I mean? Like, did I ever... Because that exits to just a dead end. And they usually don't just put set dressing in that you just can't get to. Normally everything is is traversable too. Yeah, see you, dumb bum. So it's a good question if there is more to this jail. Again, because you have to... It's one way in each time. You have to teleport out. Unless there's another way. Another, another path. As we know, there is obviously some jumping from pots to pots. Is that a thing? Is that like another door over there? It could be... Oops. I'm dead. Nope. That could be... So we were down there. That's the bridge we walked along. That could be a connection point to somewhere else we haven't found yet. Hard to tell where we are because we're underneath Bellarat right now. Hmm. I don't know. I think we will, uh, we'll bin this for later. I'm not sure if there's anything more to explore down there or not. I do tend to go really slow with these things because I... But there's plenty you can miss. <clears throat> but I don't know if there's anything down that way. That might be... Because there are some jails and caves, say, like in the base game where you would see a path but that path was not accessible from where you were the path was accessible from a different cave entirely that you would find later that would loop and then you'd be like oh i was there before like you would you would see it from a different perspective a different angle so i'm wondering if that's what we're dealing with here holy birds batman a lot of birds. Wowza. There are so many birds here. Regarding this item, I guess. Bird. Indeed. The Grave Bird Armor. Stone armor with a tinge of green. 
one of the set of armor pieces cast in the image of the grave bird. Grave birds are ancient golems created to guard the spirit graves built where all manner of death ultimately drift. So yeah, they are, they're constructs. Because these are not active. Huh. Yeah, so they are, they're golems, essentially. They are, someone jumped up there. That's a torrent jump for sure. Try target lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are inanimate compared to the ones that were animate. So. Hmm. These are like special. There must be way more important grave sites. These ones that are just kind of out and about. These ones. This is a bunch on the other side as well. This is where we fought the ghost flame dragon. Which is why I have pest threads back on my bars. Dogs. Just a bunch of wild zombie dogs. Surprised there was no crab in this lake. There was, in fact, no crab yet. There may eventually be crab, but currently there is no crab. So I guess we're going where the dogs are. Which I think we're almost done exploring this area. Because the next place we have to do is the abandoned ailing village and then we're done with this continent. At least done to what I understand to be done. But that's a, that's a path down into the water there. So that's crazy that there's that. Something additional even on that side to go up the other. Because we're going to be eventually be up there on that chunk of island. Plateau, whatever, mountain. And then we want to go down from there. Bigger dog. There's chewed on some mushrooms. It's an aggressive amount of damage on uh, pest threads. It's crazy. I switched to it though because the damn dragon. I almost kind of internally told myself, maybe I won't use pest threads because on certain targets, it just destroys them. And then I was like, eh, <laughs> if it's in the game, it's fair game. Considering how ridiculous the holy crap, <gasps> no crab. Look, see, told you crab, crab. It was only a matter of time before crab. Yeah, that's going to be a. Wow, you gotta go all the way down into this area, which again, there's like a sunken castle around the corner that we can't even see. It's our next map marker. Sheesh. Hello, fly people. Why is it always death? There's a lot of it. Death, that is. And now we have potentate cookbook 10. 
the, the order of these is so incredibly ridiculous. <laughs> this is hefty fly pot. Gross. So it's bleed pot. What does it take? Ugh. That's the regular fly pot. Hefty fly pot. Throw at enemies to set a large swarm of blood flies upon them. The vile swarm deals damage and greatly builds up onset of blood loss. The cacophony of their wings assails the sanity of berserkers. The maggots found in waste feed on blood. No, wait, the maggots found in waste, comma, feed on blood and turn into vicious flies that are pity uh, that are pitiably short lived. Yes, pitiably. Yeah. What's it take to make? Oh, it takes those new flowers. And fly mold. <clears throat> yeah. Only I have to like be cognizant and remember how crazy the big jars are. Cause like that, for example, like having a splash of bleed in my build, like as a as a throwable item could be really helpful in certain situations against certain enemies. Things that maybe are very large to the pot lands or very hyper aggressive. So you just throw the pot and then keep moving and whatnot. Or it's too hard to actually uh, get a spell cast off. Well, we need that fly mold, apparently. All right, let's go into this village. I think it's the last thing that I've been able to figure out on this chunk of the continent before we go over the, the bridge. I don't know if this village is very much ailing anymore. It was burned out. No doubt in Mesmer's crusade, if I had to guess, there's a lot of flies here. Many fly people. So now were they fly people before and then they were burned during Mesmer's campaign or were they burned and then became fly people? Like what was the what kind of order of operations we talking here? Rolling ahead? Why? Cause they're pots. <laughs> Blech. And I wish incantation speed was a little bit faster on casting. That's with 30 dexterity. There might be a slight increase in, in charging. If you had 50, but I, I don't know. <clears throat> I thought you only gain benefits for casting speed up to 30 dex. I think maybe sorceries get a little faster, but incantations are mostly locked. A human bone shard. Really? All the way out here. So they must have been humans. And then became fly people. They are like kind of human. They are, they're man flies. Hmm, but Hi, 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 hi. Yeesh. <laughs> you already I guess we ran through here and picked this up on our way through the first time. That was a, an ash. 
Is that really it? Is there any little more on the back of this town? Because also I wondered, did this town connect to that town and then the land gave way, broke apart? Time for item crafting and then try throwing. Oh, is there a bird? I see no bird. I see lots of fly people. That man's walked around with a cane. Is he a caster? Yep. We buffed them all. Well, too bad they're all dead. Oh, yep. That makes sense. Oh, it hit me. Damn. So yeah, those are still human-ish. They're like ghouls, but... Oh yeah, well, here's clearly... So I guess everyone was burned and then flies and the corpses melded together to become man flies the ailment talisman a talisman depicting a soul taken by sickness when certain ailments are triggered this talisman grants resistance to the same ailment When the weak were infected with the dreaded fly sickness, they perished well before the metamorphosis could took hold. Oddly, those who cared for the infected and made certain they were given a proper burial were never afflicted themselves. Oh, well, there's, there's our answer. The dreaded fly sickness infected these people and apparently only infected certain ones. That's why we still see human-ish like ghosts walking around. And then uh, they were burned. Mesmer's flame or otherwise. To purge this area, I guess, of the sickness. I mean, that is true. Only certain people get down with the sickness after all. So that's that castle area. I guess it's more like a uh, fortification. Way over there. Uh, oh, we're going to totally go up there at some point. See, that's what I was talking about before. That's the rest of... This is the rest of the, uh, the tower settlement, but that, I guess it's not death root. It's just like some crazy spiny and that's apparently the shadow tower. Check back in in 20 hours when we figure out what the hell the shadow tower is. If it's even a real thing, I still feel that the, I'm still wondering like deep down that Mesmer isn't the final boss of this DLC. Just something tells me that Mesmer will be like the penultimate. And the final boss of the DLC will be something else entirely. Oh, we have a ghost here. I didn't even see him. Did we already talk to him before? I don't know. Maybe we did. Oh, it hurts from the very tipped toe. Yeah, we did. Am I still human? Okay, that was the other bit of lore. That they 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 had a sickness. They were turning into flies. Okay, I don't know if there's anything else in this first southern chunk section, I guess. Good God. Unless, again, there's something else in that jail, which would require even more... retracing my steps yet again. Oh, no, sorry. This is where we fought the dragon. The other water area had nothing in it. 
The dragon was in this area because it was all misty and shrouded. All right, let's head across the bridge, shall we? Let's not aggro the doges. I went in there as a burned out house that had a cookbook in it. We'll go take a little little sit at this uh, site of grace real fast. Well, Freya and Hornscent guy are still here just hanging out. Yeah. Where's the tree? Uh, you, you mean you didn't see it? We're at Skadu 4, Revered Spirit Ash 5. So what was I? I was... Stamina recovery and break stances. Yeah, because my initial burst is normally weapon art based. So having higher poise damage. So I always had that before. Because I can always take stamina recovery and just go to faith. Or you can do enhanced charged attacks. Then you can boost your faith. All damage negation. You can just do fire, which normally I am fire, but I think I just do faith because it scales everything. Hi, Freya. I'm going over the bridge, Freya, okay? See you later. Maybe. I might find you dead somewhere. Uh, it's hard to see the Skadu tree from this angle because it's all foggy. But it is quite noticeable. The Alec, Alak Great Bridge. Okay, there are dead people on the bridge, so there's probably gonna there's a ballista. I see it. I definitely see the ballista. Yep. Ooh, militiamen. New enemy. Well, not necessarily new enemy. But... Oh god, it's so high! Hey, what's up, bud? I should get close to him. Common soldier greaves. Whoa, whoa, crossbows, whoa! How about this? <laughs> How about this? Blech. Try rushing in. Yep. You don't stop. Dark Souls bridges, you don't stop. Lost Ash of War, even though we don't use weapons that usually have Ashes of War. Even though I might... I might juice up that... Uh, that... I mean, the the light greatsword. Let me finally get one. I might juice that up. I also have the... The big katana... I don't know if you were here when I got this. The Great Katana. But it has a special stance. So I might not even want to put that on there. But new Lion's Claw, though. The Super Lion's Claw might go super hard. There is a Horn Boy up there. Not that he has horns, but that he is using a horn. Not that he is adorned with a horn, but that he is wielding one. Are my uh, non-English first language speakers confused yet? Scuttle tree fragment. There's the tree. Holy crap, the skybox here. What the frick? <laughs> Pardon me while I take a screenshot, you know, for like future thumbnail purposes or whatever. Good God, look at this. What the heck? Wowza. 
That is quite the imagery. All right, let's get a little bit of a, a little bit of this. I don't want to sit right now. Let's, let's check out this entire encampment before we go into our, I would assume, second legacy dungeon, it looks like. Oh, yeah. See all the impaled people? Mm-hmm. It is very dork. I hear something chiming. Like, is that a chime or is that like a bird? Someone aggroed me. Oh, they're down there walking the path. I always to, to, to denote my monitor is darker than what the recording and the stream sees. So if I ever go like, mm, it doesn't really help, but it's just to denote that it is very dark on my screen. And a blood stain, huh? What happened over here? Okay, bye. Oh, we got a armored up storm giant over there. I see. So there's a path that goes off into the forest. We got another path that goes down towards like a graveyard area. Let's get some markers up here. I don't know if I can actually get here. Then we have here. Then we have here and then all the way down here. And then this might even go all the way down here. We'll, we'll get to that when we come to it. Just to mark things that I want to check. Hello. Your dog's on fire, sir. The dog is also on fire again and also more on fire. Your dog your dog has been Where are you going? Bruh. <laughs> Where was he going? He didn't immediately turn to aggro me. Precious item ahead? Really? What if though? I still hear something like chiming. There's a little faint chime on the wind. What the hell is that? Oh, those are the embers. Oh. Okay. So our first time you ever found one. Serpentine cord like ember material used for crafting, mainly found in Skadu Altus. I guess we're heading. Is that. Maybe they're still found down here where they're mainly found there. The remnant of Mesmer's flame, the symbol of the crusade, it continues to smolder as if crawling across the ground. Mesmer is very both flame and snake setup. Hello. Are you guys, are we friendly? We're not friendly, but they don't seem to be very aggro either. Nah, sorry about that. <laughs> There's a lot of tents here and in a way it's impressive to try to uh 
I don't remember which ones I've looked in. The other side is the... Oh! Oh! Another Black Knight, dude. Ah! Hold on. A moment. A moment, good sir. But a moment, if you will. A moment of your time. Owie my face. That goes so far. Damn, he's just so fast at closing the distance. Oh, okay, no! He aggroed more dudes. Okay, hold on. There were more random dudes to be aggroed, it would seem. Like, just trying to judge my cast time. Too bad. Oh, I almost did it. There we go. <clears throat> oh! <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, shit! <laughs> damn it. Maybe fireball? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. That's good. Bud, you're... There you go. <laughs> Just walk around a corner into him like, Oh, hey! Their shield slam animation looked like it had enough time to get the backstab. I just couldn't, couldn't repeat it. Because I was going to get poked in the butt by a s flaming spear! <laughs> Okay. What we're thinking, what we're thinking here. That guy's probably fighting the big boy too. Well, the camp should be pretty much cleared out. Perfumers? Hmm. Yep. Okay. So the Mesmer's Legions worked with perfumers or employed perfumers? Huh. Yeah, I figured that was in the way. Owie. Yep. Figured that was gonna hurt quite a bit. So maybe our first perfumer weapon is nearby. Mayhaps. More to my left. Oh, maybe here. Nope. Fire spark perfume bottle. Oh, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is our first perfumer weapon. It just deals fire damage. Only scales with dex. Wild. Perfume bottle standard. Perfume bottle remade into a weapon by perfumers of the Realm of Shadow. Attacks release perfumed powder, producing sparks of fire. The crusade was a violent purge, and the perfumers were not called there to heal. It has kick as its skill. Interesting. Yeah, the common soldier grieves. A pitch dark, a pitch dark soot clings to it, much like the inner faces of the men who wore them. Yikes. That's our first perfume bottle. Got 
Does fire scales with dex? Interesting. This probably couldn't scale with faith or sorcery or like in to be way too strong. It's meant to be a very just dexterous close range weapon. All right, we're all cleared out here. I think anyway. But yeah, here, like a, a perfume bottle. Or is it going to be way down here, maybe? It's a new weapon type, completely brand new. Yeah, right here. It is very close range. Pretty limited move set. It is just a perfume bottle. It's pretty wild AoE though, that's for certain. But it is really short range. But that's only the first one we've gotten, so. You know, it's kind of war speared up a little bit. We haven't war speared. Don't I have... Did I have more? No, I don't have as many somber. I was saying I thought I had... I have more ancient, but not as many somber stones. Oh, we're item crafting. Joy! I have a lot of regular sombers and can always buy more. But to take Vikes to 10, we only have two. I only have two. So it's at plus nine, but to take it that last bump, I only have two of these, so I'm not sure. I want to kind of save them for new weapons. Because it's going to be like boss weapons and named named weapons that are going to have, need them. So if there is a awesome... We still haven't gone back and checked what I can even get with the... Uh... We're not going to go to the legacy dungeon. Let's explore around it first. So let's go this way. Let's we'll start down here, I guess. Oh, bats. Lovely. Bats normally mean there's a cave nearby, though. What? That range was not... What? That was weird. Yeah, is there a cave or a jail or something down here? Big torch lighting up something. Ah, yep. See? Try jumping. Oh, something just fell off something and died. <laughs> So this is under the, is this an, is this, oh, is this actually the way in? It's just, just, just raisins. Nope. It's just like a little wine cellar thing. Mm, I'm always really hesitant whenever I see an item just sitting there with nothing around it. Could be a cookbook. Spell Drake plus three. Okay, so just a random spot that you could miss. Damn, Spell Drake plus three. Boosts magic damage negation by the utmost. By the utmost, that's our new. All right, well, we're just using the Spell Drake earlier because it's the only thing you can use against Frost. Talisman with a large depiction of a blue ancient dragon boosts magic damage negation by the utmost. The ancient dragons who ruled in the prehistoric era before the Erd tree would protect their lord as a wall of living rock. And so it is that the shape of the dragon has become symbolic of all manner of protections. For sure. So now we have... So... Oh, yep. So there's going to be probably a fire and a lightning as well. A 
fire lightning and a, a holy maybe a holy third it's weird that they go spell drake with one drake plus one spell drake has two drakes plus two spell drake has three drakes plus three spell drake has one drake math yeah the only way to actually go if you're going super in against one element is you go one spell drake and then you do the pearl drake since the the pearl drake buffs all non-physical as well so it's your double up if you want to go two talismans into it i've been thinking about really wearing the source seal again but i don't want to take more damage if anyone's been wondering about that i don't want to take extra damage considering how much damage this dlc does in the first place So yeah, that's just a little, little side area for the talent. That's a huge pickup potentially. Cause I imagine there's gonna be plenty of magic damage enemies. I've already dealt with a few in the first place. Like the last boss, we just fought the demi-human sword master who essentially three quarters my health me in one move. All right, let's explore this other side before we continue onward. Cause that's the bridge leading into what I'm assuming is a legacy dungeon that goes all the way up this rock wall here. Our second legacy dungeon, which I think there's, well, there's three in total in the DLC, three or four, maybe. If that shadow tower thing is real, is that a legacy dungeon too? I don't know. Oh, we got a statue here. Okay, we got another little village. It's the back edge of the encampment. Oh god! Hello! A blood fiend? Big boys damage. Vikes has got big poise. One more. Yep. Boom! Blech. Well, two-handing Vikes has got big poise damage. Well, if I, if I wore the talisman... The, uh, which one is the poise damage talisman? Well, I guess you could do jumping attacks. And then, was there not one that does poise specifically? You can also stack it with the raises potency of arts employing perfume. I wonder if that buffs, I wonder if that buffs the regular weapon. The after defeating enemy one seems quite weird. Just increases your damage taken. Why the hell not? Now, I guess if you were doing this, you would just run the rotten winged sword insignia. Hello. You're just walking around, huh, bud? Good lord. Just random smattering of blood fiends here is really weird. Oh, come on. What the heck? Why? No horse ahead. No jumping ahead. I get, it's just that people just finding what cliff to drop off of to find secrets. <laughs> There's so many. I don't know. It's just so many uh, 
blood stains there. And you just walk around a corner. That guy's gonna have a horn, I assume. No, he doesn't. He's just a lookout. No horn. Oh man, this place is... This place is juiced up. There are lots of guards. Wowza. Well, let's start chewing through them, I guess. Yeah, huh? Okay, nice. It's the Vikes, by the way. It's probably one of the top 10 weapons in the whole game. I'm not sure what the DLC is going to change about that, but... It is very strong. He is going to be careful with the uh, weapon art so you don't make yourself go crazy. Ah, shit. This weapon art does do uh, frenzied flame damage to you. Like that. I'm really digging to having the passive mana regen. I have a knife in my sternum. <laughs> Just like as you do, you know. Yeah, that's really high up. Oh, no. Hey, stupid. Oh, okay, never mind. Stop! I'm gonna get you. I think. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Probably, I guess. No. I guess I would. That's part of the legacy dungeon, I suppose. I'm, uh, I was, I was thinking I'm gonna get you, but I'm not gonna get you. A lot of blood right there. Just people get hit by the firebombs. Trying to get up there or falling off the, hmm. Maybe falling off the top there. Yeah, clearly this is like a, this is if you fall down out of the the fortification, then you get to go back through all those dinguses. Or you could just teleport, I guess. This is still going. Dude, Vikes is so freaking strong. Maybe it might be worth giving it. If I get another Ancient Somber, so I don't sit on just two in case there's new, like, awesome boss weapons or something. It's one of the items I would definitely upgrade in a, uh, a New Game Plus playthrough is bikes for sure. It'd probably only gain, like, maybe 30 to 40 damage. But still, like, that's a lot considering how many times you attack. Behold Underground Tomb. Oh, you know what? That makes sense. We're about at the end of this session, though. We've gotten only one boss down, but we've explored so much.
It is very purple hazy here and is kind of hard to see and it hurts my eyes a little bit. It's a little, a little painful to look at. Are we off the map now? Oh, the, our, okay. We have another map fragment right there. It's probably the next area if I'm imagining. Oh, it's the tomb guy. There's multiple tomb guys. There's vulgar militia. Oh, crap. I think my lantern is actually making it worse. If I'm... Because of how much fog. That way is the map. Is a bear? It's got red fur. Beast horns. Yeah. It's not new. Is it new? Oh, it's new. Oh, there was a different horn we got before. Found by hunting horned beasts of the realm of shadow. The crucible has a particularly strong influence on the beasts of the realm of shadow, causing many to grow horns despite the characteristics of their species. Okay. The crucible. That's the ancient magic way of everything before the era of the Erd tree. Well, yep, here it is. I want to go home and then edge. Shut up. Fuck up. Tears ahead. Dung ahead. Oh boy. Tears and dung. My favorite things. Crying as I shid. I don't know. The Fog Rift Catacombs. So it's a catacomb. Well, we should go get the bonfire at least. We're not going to do the catacomb right now. Oh, there is a jump off there. We'll just touch grace real quick. One moment. Is that Destora's character right there? That'd have been something. Could this be necessary item? Turn back. Didn't expect futility. Yeah, there's nothing here. Wait a minute. Wait for it. Wait for it. What if? Wait for it. Wait for it. What if? Nothing. Don't fall down the dev space pit. All right, I guess we got a, we have a uh, a catacomb to explore now. Which I'm I didn't see a way. There's all this is all mountain right here, so it's a different way to get past or through. Maybe you have to go through this to get through this area to even get to the next map marker. So okay. Oh, there's another map marker over here, too. Holy crap. Well, all right, then. It's about as big as Limgrave, everyone. About as big as Limgrave, the first opening zone. Oh, Miyazaki, being as humble as he be. Debating the community. He, he, he. <laughs> That's going to do it for this one, though. Thank you for watching. If you're watching live, of course, we're going to keep going. If you watch on YouTube, then you have to wait, I don't know, 12 to 24 hours, depending on when these episodes are coming out. There's already some that are going to be going live now, the time that I'm sitting here right now, recording more live. So we're going to we're gonna keep keep trucking along. I'm going to go search around this area real quick, and then we'll. I want to go explore this side stuff. I don't know if this connects. It looks like it does connect over. It's all this stuff. Don't forget, there's a lot more But I'm Bad playthrough video episode chunks. There's a lot. Hundreds if you want more forehead 
cringe commentary, whatever. I'm going to keep exploring, though. Looks like there's a building down here or a chunk of fair Missoula. I don't know. Mouse, no. No, mouse controls. Ah, 